All right, welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft, Magic Online, Mike Barbably Boo, uh, Frank here, and uh, so we have Mike. Mike and I were talking about doing a stipulation. If there was no, if there was power in the pack, we'd do a normal draft. If there's, if there's no power, uh, our stipulation is we have to take the land, um, so that we draft all the lands, and then we can just play any cool card we get. Um, but. There's no power and no lands in this pack, which is interesting. What do we do? This worm coil engine? Um, take Mind's Desire and try to get that storm rolling. We could actually take Mind's Desire and try to get that storm rolling. <clears throat> I think this pretty... is the weakest storm card. I disagree. That card's insane. It's, it's, have you played with it? Yes. And I every time it. it is... It's not. It's not. It's, it, it is <laughs> not. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> It is not. Oh man, uh, yeah. I, it's just you always whiff. Maybe you do. Correct. Just take worm coil. Or jays. It's fine. I like worm coil because um, oh, I guess it's worm coil. Oh, time spiral. All right, so I will take the time spiral instead of these lands. Um, and hope the mines is our wheels. And hope the mines is our wheels. I think that's what we're doing. Or do we take the lands and do the land stipulation, guys? What's what do you guys think? Storm or Stip, vote now. When are we doing an ugly draft? You're an ugly draft. Stip, Storm for well, so this is gonna be like 50-50. I know how this. I know how this goes. We got two for Stip, one for Storm. Two Stip, one Storm. I don't find Storm fun to watch. Four Storm, Storm. Oh, man. Storm was a blast to play the other day when we played it, though. Also, Time Spiral is just a good card. We can just go Time Spiral into Worm Coil Engine. It's true. There's a lot of votes for Storm. I couldn't I couldn't help it. I think it's too good. I, I think we've drafted Storm once, uh, and, and Mike wasn't even here. So it doesn't even count. Yeah, so like I, I don't mind drafting Storm a second time out of all the drafts I've done, so and it could be fun. And it might not even be Storm, so we'll see. Um we can also do Storm and Lands. So we can just if there's no Storm card, we take the land. I don't know. Sure. It's a fun format. What are you gonna do? I like Scolding Tarn here. Yeah. I you like it over Colonnade? Yeah. Oh uh, well, especially because of Time Spiral, I guess. Yeah, I can take... I'll take Scalding Tarn here. Oh, Jitte. Everyone yells at me for taking Jitte so high. Signet's really good, though. Signet is very good. Yeah, Signet's real good here. I don't believe in a train, though. I do think it's good, but that's a really good Signet. I agree. I think it's great, and I think anyone who doesn't agree with Umazawa's Jitte being as good as it is... You played against it? God, it's awful. That's a pretty good one. This is what I I had the time tw time twister and time spiral in the in the storm deck I played, and uh, everyone was like, "Well, you have two draw sevens. I guess uh, I guess it's over." So I guess we'll just do that again. Oh, steam vents, and it's oh a high tide and a Talarian Academy. Woo! I think high tide slightly better. It's got to be high tide because it might not come back, and it's very it's. Also, it's, if we don't get artifacts, Academy is dead. So yeah, it's got to be high tide, especially with time spiral. Pretty broken combo. Brainstorm. Sure. Hmm. Uh, blue land, so. Let's twist again. Like we did last summer. This is the one draft where we're not going to get tendrils or brainstorm. Or brain freeze. We'll get them. I believe in it. We have these. All three of these, which well, means... They make these, um, these, these ones are bigger than... Uh, like, you don't get to see every card. Oh, yeah, you're right. How did you know that? That's funny. Because I just remembered it. Yeah, it's actually like 400 and something cards, and like a, a regular cube is like 360 so weird, or something. Yeah. It's way better to have a perfect, I think. So 8 times 15 times 3. Yeah, 360 is a regular 8-person cube if you want everyone to see every single card. Hmm. Actually, Faithless Looting, yeah. yeah. Typically end up with some red stuff. Jace for win. What's going on? Glad glad to have you, buddy. Glad to have you. Let's twist again. 
Let's time twist again. Oh, just Corpse Dance and Siege Gang, yeah. Or uh, the way we did it, we, we Rakdos returned them every game. We just made infinite mana. And then Rakdos returned them for like 18 every game. Give them the old Racky Cracky? The old Racky Cracky. That's what I, that's what I always say. Our first pick was Worm out. Coil. Yeah. Ooh, Mines Desire didn't table. Interesting. Through the Breach, though. Yeah, we could be like Storm slash Oops through the Breach. Yeah. I like that all the good combos are in blue and, and red. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's also Kiki Jiki combo in this. Right. And you can just That's get an we can just get an Emrakul too. There was an Emrakul. It wasn't the one you want. But. I like Time Spiral into untap our lands and then play through the breach. That's pretty good. It's uh, Snow Bead. Duplicant, I guess. Sure. Lightning. Yeah, yeah duplicant's better. Yeah, I don't like Incinerate here. It could be Murderous Cup. We have no black yet, so... Let's just take Revoker, I guess. I don't know. Storm's really drying up here. Actually, it, probably, it was probably Fiend there, but... Who took the Mines Desire? That's interesting. That is interesting, because we know they don't have this, this, or this, so... They're just a hater? It is just a hater. Also, if we threw the Breach Worm Coil, we gain six, and then we make two worms. That's pretty good. Good lord. Now we're just a blue-red tempo deck with two draw sevens. I thought, I thought we already opened this wrong Emrakul. I could have swore that maybe it was the other one. I think it was Kozilek. Oh, maybe. Because they had no art, so it's hard to tell. I like Frantic Search here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh, BioVisionary with the three-month sub. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll hear a pirate joke. Okay. I'll, I'll bite. Hmm. It's just Treasure Cruise? I think so. You get enough cards in the graveyard, it's probably good. Gutter sniping with a nine month sub. Happy stream, baby. It's my first one. <laughs> oh man. Now I can fall asleep guilt free. Nice. This is all we can all go to bed now. This is amazing. Good night, y'all. Uh I think it's actually what's a, I is it R? Is a pirate's favorite letter R? Because that's that's almost too easy. I do like fiery confluence a lot. However, I think if we're storming, a treasure cruise is just better because we're going to get a bunch of junk in our graveyard. Yeah, I like cruise. Yeah, I'm going to cruise. I like going on a nice cruise. There's the Rakdos' There's return. The There's a Kabar Ritual and a Dark Ritual, which one of those is probably table. I imagine. But maybe not. Actually, we. this is funny because we took this last time and, and we won with it, so. We technically could just take a Ritual here, but. A pirate's favorite letter is C. Wow, you guys are amazing. That's absolutely actually amazing. I'm gonna take this because it did me right last time. It took me a while to get that joke. I feel ashamed. You should. Oh, gush. Uh, there's the Yogmoth's bargain. Is that good? It's insane in storm. Is it good? Yeah, hey, you just tap out and win. You just like untap and win the game. Okay, I'll do that. I'll trust you. Nothing for us. Yeah, I'm oh, wandering funeral is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's picture. Take it. Been enjoying your content. Thanks for that. I've noticed you guys sometimes use the phrase type of way and wonder where you heard it. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's from the rich homie Quan hit type of way. Good. Really? Let's find out. What if that's what it's from? Anything good here? Anything good? Nothing? Nothing good? Nothing good at all? No. Definitely not. Actually, probe is yeah, fine. Yeah, probes. Yeah, it's free spell. It's fine. This is how we get. That might be it, yeah. I think so. Oh my god, I think that's it. So 
Some type of wet. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I would have never expected that. B. Fernie, thank you so much, man. Now we know. Wow. You just gave Rich me so much clone. closure. I'm just going to take Dark Petition. Seems decent. We got some double black things, so we could probably use more fixing now. I didn't expect us to be this, this heavy black, and by heavy black I mean two double black cards, but... I mean, we're not really red. I mean, you cut through the breach, Imperial Recruiter, Burst Lightning. We're always red, Michael. That Firebolt seems suspect. We're not really red, I guess. Yet. We're not red yet. Mm, we can still face this looting. Ooh, Ooh. Let's take that and hope for the goods. Ooh, I like having multiple combos in my deck arenas. So soon have recruiter, make some good. Yeah. Some type of it. Is it misstep? Misstep your own taxing probe for extra storm. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you can't just cast that without a target, right? No. I think it's just misstep. Cost me go for the throat. How much does the pirate charge to pierce ears? A buccaneer. Fiery Confluence came back. I figured it would. And no one seems to like that card. Cabal Ritual came back. That's nice. Ooh, gush. Opposition and gush? Jeez. People got no respect, man. Alright, now we're more red. We also have like all the combos. We got Splinter Twain, Imperial Recruiter. We got Through the Breach. We got a bunch of Storm stuff. We don't have any power though, and we also don't have any uh, any actual Storm cards that have the word Storm on them. So, you guys, if you're gonna present us with a joke, you have to give us a chance to guess. They never will. God. Some type of way. Eh, fail push, whatever. I don't want to keep playing this song, though, because... You get taken down? Yeah, then my YouTube video is going to be like, sorry. You'd never guess. I mean, you'd never try. Wow. I don't know which one I'm more insulted by. Some type of way. I have yet to open a Jace the Mind Sculptor in these drafts. And no storm cards, really? Like, nothing in this pack. This pack is pretty bad for us. Real bad. Not even a like fetchable dual land. Cheshire Pratt, thank you so much for the sub. You are awesome. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Really appreciate it. At what at what point do we panic? Start taking real cards. <laughs> we got real cards. We got a worm coil and a duplicate. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Char, I guess. You like, you know, like, you know, like Tamio? Yeah, Tamio is a real card. I like Tamio. Demonic Tutor. Conscripts is a real card. Yeah, that there's also an empty the warrants. And a Kiki Jiki. This pack has everything we want. Uh Kiki's slightly better because we have recruiter. Right, but we don't we already have Splinter Twin. Like both of these are, are one part of the combo. Oh right. Duh. These are the same part. Without this, we don't yeah, actually yeah. have the combo. I guess we take conscripts then. I'm not excited about Kiki Jiki because you don't actually have anything to copy, guys. I signed it for free Amazon Prime just for you. I'm <laughs> Oh, it's a killer shooter. Nice. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Conscripts it is, then. I, th I guess it's Conscripts? Conscripts is also very good. Like, stealing of their dude, even if it doesn't win you the game on the spot, it's still pretty good. There's a Deceiver Exarch. <gasps> oh! I didn't even see that guy. I was like, Terminate? Is it... Is it Glorybringer? No. Oh, that's a dude. Now, we, now we're going ham. Going ham, boys. Oh, Yogmas Will and Magus of the Will in the same pack. What are the odds? Oh, that's very good. Now we just take the Yogmas Will, right? Think so. Well, I don't know if we're Storm now. We're Storm. We got a Rakdos return. Yeah, but how do we make infinite mana? Uh, you you go high tide, and then you play Time Spiral, and you untap all your lands. Yeah, that's probably enough. And then you Yogmas Will, and you're high tide again. Oh yeah. It it it's 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 doable. You'll you will be fine. Or at least enough mana to kill them. Also, Mana Flare is pretty good in the uh, in the Time Spiral matchup. Or, or we could just take this Ulamog and through the Breach him. 
Me, mm, I think we're off the through the beach fan. But we don't have to be. Whatever, it's Mana Flare, right? I think so. A little scary to tap out for them to have a turn, but. Yeah, but what are they going to do? They're going to play some big dumb dirtle, and then we're going to kill them. Seething song? It's got to be song, right? Some type of way. <laughs> oh boy. It actually, it probably isn't that song because otherwise we'd be, the videos would be already taken down because we sing it so well. You okay, man? I'm hearing some weird noises coming from your, your body right now. It's, it's not good. It's not good. What's the definition of a will? A dead giveaway? Wow. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I like that. Bone splinter? There's Try no bone splinter shredder. in this pack. There's no bone splinter in this pack. Okay. Bone shredder. <laughs> All right, I get it, man. God. Jesus. He gets real crazy when you call him. some black fixing. That'd be nice. I agree with you. I don't think we're going to find any other fixing, which is really kind of sad. Yeah, I'm a bit of a hip hop head. I also knew quite a bit. Is it just Bone Shredder? Or is it Flame Tongue Kavu because it's easier for us to cast? <laughs> oh, there's that meme. Oh, boy. Brain Freeze. Wow, that is great. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? It's too tired. Oh. Too tired. Yeah, I got you. Be freeze. Watch Empty the Warren's gonna be right here. I think it's in the, it's not in this pack, obviously. No, it's next pick. It's next pick. This is the terrible pack that remains terrible. Yeah, this pack is still terrible. There's literally nothing for us. I guess we'll just take uh, the one card we maybe Never play. Wow, Kiki Jiki came back? Alright. Okay. Eh, Terminate's fine. Terminate? Wow, they did not come back. Okay. Someone's a hater. Someone else is trying to be Storm, but they don't know. They don't know that we Storm. I guess we're taking out the Worm Coil Engine, because we don't really do anything with it. And this is 24 cards. Anything we don't need in here? Anything that's not vital to our our comboing? Um, brain maggot. Although I kind of like it. I like it because it protect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it do protect. <laughs> Maybe bargains too greedy. It's double black. It is. I think it is too greedy, but play the brain maggot over it. It's so good though. Resolves you just win the game. I agree. Some type of way. This song was not in my head until... Or do we play the, the Imperial Recruiter now that we have Kiki Jiki and... Yeah, we definitely play that card. And Deceiver XR. Because we can take out... We can take out Bargain for Imperial Recruiter. Yeah, I like that. So now we're only splashing for Cabal. We also have Demir Signet, which is okay. Cabal, Cabal, Cabal Ritual, Yawgmoth's Will, and Rakdos' Return. We have not a lot of artifact mana. We have like zero. We have one. <laughs> yeah, but I don't even I don't even know if I'd consider Demir Signa artifact mana. Three sources of black. This is eight eight three, but we have a Demir Signet. Four sources. That's actually bad. fiery confluence in the main deck. Is that a main deck card that we want? Mm, not really. What do we want instead, though? <laughs> I don't want a black card though. Do that are like Mizium Mortars. I don't actually hate Mizium Mortars just because it's pretty. It seems like it'd be easy to uh, overload here.
Either way, I think the mana's correct. But Fiery Compost might just be better than Mizium Orders. I mean, artifacts are pretty relevant. Yeah, I agree. I think we can keep the Fiery Confluence. Wow, listen to these math jokes. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I think this looks good. I'm excited about it. All right, let's see what happens. Why is a mosquito called a vector? I don't get it. I get the scalar. That's funny because he's uh, yeah, but I don't get the the vector part. I forgot how to throw boomerang, but eventually it came back to me. Wow. Oh, a disease vector. Wow. Wow. Oh, we got a flame tongue cavo in here too. That's pretty good. What do you get when you cross a mobster with a national standard? That's too many jokes at once, guys. I want to keep this hand. Even if what if we just like Rakdos return them for like How many can we do it for? A lot. Some type of way? Yeah, definitely some type of way. That's cool. We also have three. That's that's the end of my sentence. We have three. Yeah, we definitely have three. We have two draw sevens in our deck again, so that's pretty cool. I like that this this chat just turned into joke chat. Twenty eighteen. Why does KFC serve their chicken in a bucket? Why don't you? Hmm. Think about that one, dummy. You can't. You will. So next turn we can go tap two to make three. Uh, use one and two of the others to make five, so we'd have six total. So we can rack those, return them for four, and spend three cards to do it. I don't know if that's great. Nah. Bleh. Why can't the T-Rex clap his hands? Is it because its arms are so small? So you have something to vomit in once you're done eating it. Good lord, man. I think KFC's just fine. It's only chicken. It's just fried chicken, man. I guess if you eat the whole bucket, you might throw up. So I think we actually just wait a turn, and then we can do it for five. It's still a five for three, but it should get rid of their whole hand if they go land to play something. Which seems pretty good. Land. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. That's really disgusting. Oh, that's cute. I think we just lost the match. No, I'm going to frantic search here. Maybe they'll counter it. Oh, all right. It's a start. I didn't even know we had a flying tongue cavern. Well, now you do, Michael. Now you do. Let's kill that thing. That's what I'm doing. Do it faster. Do it now. This deck is awkward because you want a ton of islands because you have... Um, what's it called? Kiki Jiki or no, uh, High Tide? But you also want a bunch of at least three mountains because you have uh, Kiki Jiki. So, Kikims McJikims. Some type of way. This is hilarious. You had to have Mox Sapphire and this guy in order to be able to counter Rakdos's return. That's funny to me. That kind of perfection is just... You want to trade one for four? Okay. Well, I don't think they're blocking. Oh, an old... An old fummer... Oh, you're going to do something... Huh. Sure. So long, Rakdos' return. It was nice knowing you. 
shields are down though, so we could actually do something crazy if they uh, if they let us. I'll take that. Well, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Uh, why not Rivals of Ixalan? Because I feel like the Vintage Cube is just infinitely more fun than Rivals of Ixalan. Not to say I won't be drafting it when the set comes out, but I don't want to pay 30 tickets to do a preview league. That just seems a little, a little silly. I think it's actually Kiki Jiki right now. Yeah, definitely. Because it works with both... Um, Deceiver Exarch and Zealous Conscripts. It's also pretty good with the Flame Tongue copy. I guess actually, if we got, uh, we can also play Kiki Jiki and copy Imperial Recruiter to get a copy of Deceiver oh, yeah. Exarch, so True. that's pretty good too. Actually, if they tapped out, we, we'd actually win next turn. Play something dumb. <sighs> that was pretty dumb. Agreed. I'm still pretty sure I win this race. Can we just draw something good? That wasn't it, but we're still dealing a lot of damage here, so... Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. And we play the land in case we draw, like, Time Spiral or Time Twister, then we can still play another land off of those cards. So. Remember that time they Mind Twist us? Remember that time we were going to Rakdos' return their whole hand, and then they played Glenninger Archmage the exact turn before they needed to? And then we were going to actually do something cool, and then they Mind Twist their entire hand? I have no idea how it works, but uh, these... These sort of interactions seem to happen pretty consistently in the Vintage Cube, which is kind of funny. Of course. Must be nice, as they say. Uh-huh. I feel like your odds of winning have gone up. Just a tad bit. Especially when you draw heaters like that. <laughs> <sighs> okay okay now I'm not going to play the land because I don't want them to think I have nothing Mind Twist is a, is a fair magic card. Look at this mana base. Oh, can we draw Fiery Confluence and then they can counter it? So never mind. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we can go like destroy an artifact, destroy an artifact, deal one to all your things. And that would be absolutely just so, so unbelievably amazing. That would be pretty Why cool. Why would you just attack with everything? Like, it forces me to block. And you're still dealing four in the air. I don't understand that. You can do it. This game's free over. I guess we have draw seven, so maybe... Well, we'll they have Glenelg and Draw Mage, yeah. I can't actually imagine what maybe we can draw. Maybe they want to draw seven. Yeah, they just, they just let that resolve and then counter the next thing we play. Oh, you got another, you got a Venser or something? Torrential Gear Hulk? Yeah, sure. I, you don't even need to show me that. I have no idea why you showed me that. Good to know. <laughs> Seems strange to me, but... Oh, look, we could have drawn that and then drawn seven, but... Never gonna happen. All right. Hmm. Well, that was a thing. Brain Maggot? 
I don't actually hate Brain Maggot here. They got Faithless Looting. Living on a prayer. Remember that time they were like, here, we'll take your Rakdos' return and we'll give you, you drew an Imperial Recruiter. Play the Imperial Recruiter, get Kiki Jiki, and then they're like, we'll make you discard your Kiki Jiki. And it was just like... Along with our other cards. Okay, cool. A seem a good. All right, next draft we're doing the land stipulation. Faux show. I'm actually just excited about that one because I want to be able to play all the cards we draw. Uh, in Rage Muffin, there were no stipulations thus far. But in the future. What about the future? Some type of way. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a keep. Okay. Let's see how fast they can mind twist our entire hand. Whose idea was it? Who was like, this is going to be a good card? I mean, it is a very good card. This is going to be a fun card. This is going to be a fun okay. card. There you go. I don't think we forced Storm. We second picked a Time Spiral. And then we kept getting past reasonable Storm cards. I don't know if that was forcing it, per se. Oh, good. Congratulations. Well, they only have one more mana than us, so that's that's something, right? I'm going to try to kill that dude. Hmm. Interesting. Now I think we just get Deceiver Exarch. And try to kill it. Or try to kill them. Right. Right. They don't have a second blue for Vendillion Click. And Mind Twist for four is actually pretty insane. So let's hope they don't do that, I guess. Here we go. Mind Twist for four. You ready? Some type of twist. So not only did they get the second blue for Vendillion Click... They could also just end wipe out our entire hand. Did you say end the game? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh. It really does just end the game. It's really unfair. So if we went Seething Song, we have five, six mana. We can go Deceiver Exarch for three, leave us with three, untap one, leave us with four. So if we draw a land... And they tap out for something that's not. Oh my god. Actually, no, that well, no, that's still that still does a thing. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Is there any way to get past that? I don't think so. If they let the seeding song resolve, they die, right? Yeah, I think they do. I guess we just go for it. God, it seems so bad, though. Yeah, the only problem is then is if they do counter it, we won't have the end of turn Exarch play. Right. So maybe we just pass. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't even... Oh, God. It seems so bad. I'd like to tap their blue and then go to the second main. If we had one more land, we could do that. We could go Seething Song. Uh, we can go tap your blue. Go to combat. Make you waste it. Second song. Sec oh, no, we wouldn't be able to do that because then we play Kiki Jiki. And it would actually just... Uh... They might let Seething Song resolve, though. I doubt it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's 
this week. It's it is what it's whatever. They could just want to counter whatever we play with Seething Song. What of enraged muffin? Some type of way. Yes, this is Patrick. No, this is Patrick. I always get the yes, this is dog and no, this is Patrick memes confused. They're really thinking this over. Thinking. Maybe they think we're baiting them. Jabated. Some type of way. <gasps> it resolved. Now I have no more creatures in hand. So we're going to use two. That puts us down to three. We untap a land and we have an extra land. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Ba da, ba da, ba da, boom. Ba da, ba da, ba da, boom, boom. This is how we win the game when you don't use your Glenelendra Archmage. I guess if it's four spike, he gets us. That would be amazing. Oh, no, they just, they just lose the game. Sick Glenelandra Archmage. In the trash can, Leroy Brown. <laughs> oh, man. So when I used to play Versus System, um, I was actually, which is like the, the Marvel DC superhero game, the collectible card game. Um, I was actually on a team with Alex Jubaley, which is pretty hilarious because I always think about that. And I'm like, how that guy rose to be like the the fighting game like guru and like have his own like twitch remote like that's that's so funny to me because he was just he was just a normal dude when we were this was like probably 10 years ago in like 2005 some type of way some type of way is right some type of way i can show you the way wow <laughs> you're really mixing your memes here as long as you don't draw mind twist and the stupid glenlanger archmage i think we're okay yeah, I'm not a fan of either of those cards. Your your st stir construct is out of date. Oh no, not my stir construct. Well, this has a combo in it. I'm so gonna keep this hand. Keep. It also we we can also get to see Rexark and have both of the combos. JP -E JPEG EXE, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brew. What is it? what what Findhorn Elves in like your five thousand color deck? I don't. I do not understand. Uh, he does. Yeah, he does CEO now, which is the fighting game, huge the huge fighting game event. It's which is big. which is yeah, it's like huge, right? Like it's so funny. It's like pretty much Evo Part Two. You're an Evo Part Two. Heh. Well, hopefully they have no more. They have no swamps. I don't want to get twisted. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most apt use of. Oh, for crying out loud! No, he's gonna do a next turn. That's cool. Yeah, because then you get to do like for one, two, three, four, five. So that's cool. It's a long hand arena. Okay. Well, keep playing your nerds, I guess. Come on, just don't have this stupid mind twist, man. I was really hoping that was going to be... Has anyone ever beat a mind twist? <laughs> card is so absurd. I was really hoping it was going to be a brain maggot so I could brain maggot them. I think that'd be pretty epic, but... Uh... Oh, we can get one, but they're, if they're just going to rip it out of our hand... Yeah. I mean, they're just going to play an extra if they have it, so... Some type of... I guess we just have to dodge it. Dodge it, dodge it. Just got to dodge it. Maybe we can get lucky. Oh, we pondered first. Something oh, like feeling that. good. Unless they go land, still do it for five, in which case... Then we can That'd keep Deceiver four. Exarch. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you're right. So, we could get lucky. Look, our hand is like total Splinter Twin combo right now. The short fortune teller who escaped prison. He was a small medium at large. Oh, my God. Heard that one before. It's a classic. That's a spicy meatball. Spicy meme ball. That's all I got. That's enough. These are my little labels. Yeah. 
You put them on stuff? I put them on things that I like labeled. Hmm. Chose not to shuffle. They liked what they saw. Some type of way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some type of way, yeah. I don't know what you're doing right now. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Is that what you were going to do? Also, if they have a removal spell, we have two tries. Okay, okay. Okay. <gasps> Probe them. That's Ooh, we got a little looky-loo? No, nah, pay the life. Why? We're not going to play anything for four this turn, though. Oh, sure. Treasure, Dissenter's Deliverance, and Avenger. Oh my god, you can't do anything right now. This is great news. What does a clock do when it's hungry? It eats, boy! Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> what Go back for seconds. Ah, that's good. Oh my god, what are these jokes? You got one, two, three, four, five, six... I hope you play a one, two, I hope you play a land. Oh, you're just cycling that. Okay, that's fine. I was like, "What are you doing? I don't have any artifacts, right? Am I weak?" Uh, Mike is always ghost dad unless he when he has his uh, his green shirt on. Oh man, I'm always ghost dad. Even when you're you, you, even when not. Wow. I can go get that. Shirt. Why did they bring this in? Maybe it's just in your main deck cycles so we know they have avenger and dissenter uh and treasure cruise and and one other card it's not a removal spell they're dead i think i tap this guy just to prevent them from doing any nonsense oh tap the shadow yeah because that's one extra card they get to see some type of way and I don't think they're going to have any, like, main phase removal that they... they Like, they have to have one card that's not Avenger or Treasure Cruise in order to, to do that. Tell me your one top deck wasn't mine. Okay. Just play Avenger, yeah. Yes! Please. Yes! Got him. Oh, we can Brain Freeze him, too. I don't know if that's going to be as effective. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Oh boy, yeah, got him! Let you, let you not have to do the combo. I appreciate that. Sometimes I'll make them do it, and some people really don't like that, and I understand why. But I also think there is definitely a legitimate. Uh, it's it's if they it's made me time. if they made me do it, I would understand because the clock is a real thing in Magic Online. And also, I can mess up if they have ten guys and I make seventeen, and they're at eight. I messed up. I should have done better math. I should have played around things. Like, it's a strategy. I mean, we want to be like, hey, in real life, you can make infinite guys. So just assume that that's what we're going to do in Magic Online. It's not, that's not the case, though. So. Like, one of the things we used to say was, like, Magic Online is not uh, an exact replica of Magic the Gathering. It is a Magic the Gathering simulator. And as such, there are differences. So. I think this is a key. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's got all the requisite pieces. We just need two red sources. Wow. Apparently, we're not a storm deck. We are a splinter twin deck. So, Ghost Dad is a simulation. He is a a Mike Barbably Boo simulation. Did you hear about the Italian chef on his deathbed? He passed away. Some passed away. <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti. <laughs> Do you guys know what that's from? Mike said that earlier, and I was like, that's not a thing. And he was like, yeah, it's a new meme. And I was like... Oh, it's, it's popular, boy. We should look, look it up. <laughs> right now? Yeah, look it up real quick. What are you looking up? Someone touched my spaghetti? Spaghetti meme. There you go. Boom. Go to videos. Oh, January 1st, 2008. Wow. Is this real? Oh, this is a compilation. No. How long is it? What's the, Where's the short like one? three seconds. Three? Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty short. What's it called? Somebody touching my spaghetti. All yeah. right, we'll Google this. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Six seconds. All right, we did it. <laughs> what? 
God. Why? The internet is so weird, dude. Here you go, guys. You guys can have this. I did change the... I changed it to drafting. I don't know why it's Ixalan... Yeah, it says drafting vintage cube. I don't know why that came up there, but... Oh, a high tide, eh? Some tide away. I was planning on having a brain transplant, but then I changed my mind. Meh, meh, meh. No brainstorm? What? No, it just locks us, right? Like, we then we just draw the same two cards. We only have, like, one fetch line. Yeah, we're going to brainstorm next turn and then Imperial Recruiter, so we can oh, shuffle sure. the cards away. If so, have you played Gloomhaven? I haven't... I do... I don't play board games... Um... So I don't I play I like board games. I love board games. I don't play them a lot though because I just don't have the opportunity to do so. Not that I don't have time. Um I just don't have a huge board game group of friends. But um I have not played Gloomhaven, but that sounds like a cool game. I would play that. My three year old keeps asking me what's so funny, and I'm not sure how to explain this all to him. Which parts do you, would you say are the funny parts? Wait, what is are you gonna name you're gonna name Wandering Fumeral, aren't you? Joke's on you. You should name Kiki Jiki. I mean, he's he's so he sees red mana and blue mana. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Ooh, Woof. You're in the Jace, Dad. I respect that. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yeah. So we're only going to shuffle one card here because we're going to draw one as well. So, okay, that's actually fine. Do we want swamps? I want one swamp. Um. Yeah, I want one swamp. Right. And why wouldn't I want one swamp? Because high tides. Yeah, but I'm going to draw like... Whatever, man. Shut up. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Did you? Yes, I got him. I got him. All we want is red left. mana. No, we have nothing left. How Four awkward. Five, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. We just wanted to shuffle, so it doesn't really matter. That's fine. The eye in the sky, looking at you. If a man has a bee in his hand, what is in his eye? A pupil? <laughs> oh, look, a black lotus. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. All right. This is where we die. Something's happening. Yep. This actually might be where we... Oh, yeah, we're dead. Good game. It's a good a game. We could have done that. I know. That's why I wanted it. That's what I was doing the other day. And you were like, no, you know, it's not good enough. And I'm like, no. I keep wanting to bring in Brain brain Maggot and keep taking out. What did we take out last time for it? Faithless Looting, I believe. Yeah, I don't like Faithless Looting. Doesn't like you either. Good. I don't, I don't like. I don't care. I don't even care. Beauty because that's in the eye. It's funny because they cast. We were tapped out. They cast Black Lotus, then they played through the breach with no Black Lotus. So it's basically just like, hey, look, I have this Black Lotus. Okay, kill you with through the breach, untapped Black Lotus. All right, cool, you got it. What's my favorite hip hop band? Um, do you mean just like a single artist or like a group of people? I would say hip hop outfit, whether it's a single person or a group. That would be my question for you. It's definitely a mortal technique. Wow. Definitely. Yeah, not close. What if it was a single, a that, singular that's, that's gentleman? A, that's a single D. Oh, okay. What if it's a group then? If it's a group, it's a little tougher. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You touched my spaghetti? <laughs> my spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. so funny. Yeah, you do. Because listen to it. Yeah, uh, Dance of the Devil is a pretty pretty heavy song. All his music's pretty heavy though. If it's a group, I'd probably go Wu Tang Clan. This is what I need. This is what I need in my life. Oh my god, really? Ugh. I don't think that's a good one. Yes. <laughs> that's the one we need. Jack of all trade, thank you so much for the sub. Seven months in a row. You are for awesome. How long till a spaghetti moat? Could be very soon. Somebody touch my spaghetti. 
I am the eye in the sky. Oh, you're really going for it, huh? Oh, yeah. What do you got to get rid of, though? What do I have to get rid of? Yeah. None. Why do I have to get you rid got, of something? You got a slot? I got infinite slots, man. Okay. I got slots for days. I'll keep this hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. You like it a hand? I like it a hand. If we draw Kiki Jiki, like, we just win, right? Yeah. I mean, we have probe with Slander Search to dig for it. Could we could probe just, on turn I don't. I think so. We can wait till turn two. Okay, we can wait till whenever, I guess. They're just gonna see so much many more cards if we do it now. Hey, man! Somebody touching my spaghetti, okay? Okay. Also, we do have a brain freeze. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it every turn. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna play this, and then I'm gonna be like, what's he doing? I Is he? Wait. Yeah, we, I know. You're right, and that's why I'm doing it. Like I'm like, oh, yeah, I think we just wait until we try to go off, and then if we can't, yeah. then we can see if we can go off. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I had this crazy dream the other night. I was swimming in the ocean of orange soda. Turns out it was just a fantasy. Dude, these guys, guys, this is all, this is just terrible. Do I do it? I do want to see. I'm thinking of doing it now because if yeah, we do it now. next turn we can go frantic search into Exarch and try to hit Kiki Jiki off of off of the like three cards. Yeah, I'll definitely do it now. Let me see. Oh, none of these are okay. This doesn't kill our guy. You can't cast this. You can't cast. Yeah. All right. So we kind of have to do it next turn. Conscripts Island Island. Fiery, a braid, fencer, shackles. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, cool. Kiki Jeeks. It's actually pretty good next turn. Spell braid. It's eating song. Yeah, so that'd be five, uh, six, seven. So we could do it for five and get rid of most of their hand. No one cares about your shackles. Wait, can you just take care of that? Yeah, but they don't have mana now, so that's why we're going to try to do it. We're going to try to just draw Kiki Jiki right now. We did not, but we can actually fiery confluence their shackles. You can also do Sea Rags Arc and then cast Time Twister. What are we discarding, though? Uh, I don't like Time Twister if we're going to go try to kill their hand. I'd worry about just Time Twister and try to hit combo. But how do we... What do you mean? But this doesn't untap our lands is the problem. Oh, right. Sure. Yeah, so, like, we're just going to be like, Time Twister, go. And then they're going to have the full so hand. Because it does answer shackles. I would get rid of Time Twister and Swamp. Okay. Or well, we need Swamp. Yeah. All right. So, Mountain and Time Twister. Yeah. Yeah, I want to cast it. Oh, oh. Why didn't you cast it? Oh, why didn't I cast it? You're I right. Know. I totally forgot. Wow. Um. Wow. Oh, we didn't have a second red. Oh, no, yeah, we, we have seething yeah. song. So I guess we could seething song and fire conflict. Wait, do we still hold on? We might still have it. We have six mana. Yeah, we can still we still do it. Yeah, but we can't win. Yes, we can. Because they want to have haste. Oh, I hate the haste. That's why <laughs> Kiki mean, Jiki's we can, we can good. Put the combo out, but they'll just take and kill us, so that's not good. I feel like we just kill their hand instead. Yeah, we kind of have to. Oh well, we we could also see the song and get rid of their shackles because we do need to deal with that. Wow, that was so bad, it's dude. Probably better just take their hand. We can deal with the shackles later. Well, without a second red, though, we can't. What do you mean? Oh, sure. Well, we have some time to draw it if we make them discard their hand. Ugh. 
All right, so we technically won. <laughs> oh, it was a moral victory, at least. And we still have the combo in hand. We're, we have to dodge Venser, and we have to be able to kill the Fiery Confluence. Or kill the... Oh my god, we could have just won there. That's unbelievable to me. To be fair, if we didn't draw Splinter Twin, it actually would have been bad to have him on board. Right, of course. That's the thing. Because they have they have Shackles. So that's what I was hoping to... My plan was that if I don't hit, hit it off Cataxian Probe, and I don't hit it off Frantic Search, we're not going to play the, the C-Rex arc, because then it's just they just steal it. So that seems worse. Island, Fiery Confluence, Island, Zealous Conscripts. So we know you don't have an Island. We don't have a Fiery Confluence. We know you don't have a Zealous... So your hand is Venser a Braid. That's Braid's interesting. Pretty Venser's pretty good, though. Yeah, but they don't have a fourth land at the moment. Yeah, all right, cool. The Shackles is power, right? That's actually insane. I guess they can mentor it and just bounce it, but... No, they look pretty mana-hungry. Well, we, they have two cards in hand. They have a Venser and a Braid. And one other card, so... I mean... Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so Venser, Braid, one other card. Roof Stalker White with the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. You are uh, my favorite white of all the whites. Boy, that sounds real racist, doesn't it? A little bit. You're my favorite white. Even over Walter White? Oh, I do like a Walter. Actually, I like Walter White as a character, not as a person. He's kind of a kind of a dirt 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 no, bagger, you know. He starts off as such a good guy, though. He starts out with good intentions, but then you're like, wow, you're a real shitbag. I am the eye in the sky. So we could fire a confluence here. Right, but then they just venture it. But I think that's actually fine. Is it? Yeah, then we just because then we then they don't have a venture and we get to play it next turn. And we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can go four, five, six, seven, untap a land, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And then win. Or we can actually go. Can we do it this turn? We can go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. No, we can't. We'd be one shy this turn. Destroy an artifact. I am the maker of fools. Looking at you. Why did you? Wow. I didn't even. You didn't it. even do it. It was the. It was the. It was uh, whoever chat. said that in chat was like. I always think of you singing this song. What up, Chris? What up, big Chris? I don't know how big you are, actually, so... Yeah, I do. I know you. <laughs> I know you. That's big... Oh, they bounced the... Oh, they bounced the shackles. That's very good. I like that a lot, actually. That was a solid play, my friend. What up, big perm? I mean, big worm. Oh, I do miss a witch stalker. That was a, that was an old cutie. Hmm. So here's an interesting thing. We can play Deceiver Exar and tap their shackle. Oh, um, no, wait. Yeah, we can. But in response, they can just... They can activate it. But then I was wondering if we could untap it if they did that. The problem is you have to choose one of the modes. Yeah. Which is kind of annoying. God, I don't know how we win now. Chargo's OP. Our own mana flare. Hung, hung up by our own mana flare. You can't actually untap their permanence either. We can we can try to tap it, but like then they just steal our guy in response. 
I guess technically we could still play it and hope we draw Zealous Conscripts. <laughs> but then there's no point in playing it, really. Oh, I guess because they'd have that instead. Yeah. Ugh. So that's about it. I'd rather wait if we're going to do that. We have time. Not putting that much pressure on us. I was literally hoping we drew that. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually real good. So now they have a braid in one other card. That's actually insane. However, they do draw a bunch of cards here. Why does it keep popping up and saying Rivals is actually on server view? I don't understand why it's why it keeps saying that. I don't know. What do here? What do? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Using six of it, we have four. Five, six, seven, eight. We have 14 mana total. That's it's pretty strong. Let's we'll try to brain freeze them out if we go lucky. We could also cast to see Rex Arc first. I think we are doing that because we want to tap tap their shackles. I guess I don't know what that does though. Or tap their vents. Just give them less mana. But then they just take it. Ugh. Yeah, but we have a chance to draw other piece. Like, I don't think we have a way around that. So you don't know what we have. I do actually. I also don't want to give them a full hand. To be quite honest with you. Well, I mean, we need a way to beat that, so. Yeah, I don't really want to get in there with Fumarole because then just steal our land. But what if maybe we want them to do that? We could try for it. If they take it, they die. Well, no, they don't because no haste. No, but then next turn we can we can play Deceiver Exarch. But they keep it? Do they keep it? Yeah, but that's fine. Whatever. Like, we, don't, we have two cards in hand. Yeah, all right. This also is pretty threatening. They could also abrade it, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's their one card. That's the problem. I don't like that at all. Iron Chef Sammy, how are we going to kill them this turn? <laughs> I mean, we have Brain Freeze in the deck, and we're Time Spiraling. Yeah, but we're playing one. We're not even playing anything before Time Spiral. Yeah, but Time Spiral will draw us plenty of fuel. Will it? I think so. I think this is correct. I don't know. It doesn't feel right, though. So long to see Rex Arc Splinter Twin. They can also just counter this. I mean, if their hand is like a braid, one other card. It was not. Untap six lands. Actually, this is a really good hand to draw. What am I not clicking? One, two, three. Oh, nothing. I only have five lands. Okay. Do we not play land this turn? Oh, that's pretty good. We get a free land, too. I guess we brain mag it here. Also, Storm is very good because if they try to counter something. So, Storm count two. We can make it five, which is 15 cards. And they have. I don't. I can't say how many cards they have. It's a feature. <laughs> it's, it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, you hit okay, and then you pick something, right? I don't know if it's going to let me remember these. So we'll go new and just make a thing to remember. <sighs> Spell Pierce doesn't do anything. Fiery Confluence is a little scary because it lets you get back whatever we take anyway. So they probably just take that. Yeah, I think so. I don't think we care about anything else in this hand. I guess they could go Black Lotus, Grim Lava Mancer, Time Twister. Maybe we just take Time Twister. Guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter either way. Some type of way. It's 
So one, two, three, four, five, which is like 15. So these are like 10 cards. Yeah, it's not great. Actually, yeah, it's not, it's not the best. I mean, I guess we do it. And they have Time Twister in hand, so they just actually shuffle him, shuffle all their cards back in. Yeah, true. That doesn't even do anything. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Shackles is OP, man. Shackles is real good here. Now they get to steal our Brain Maggot. Which is actually fine, though, because then we get to play Deceiver Exarch and not have Spl Splinter Twin anymore. Now, I actually don't care if they Time Twister here, especially because we can play Exarch and Ritual in response. And then maybe get uh, the brain freeze back. Like, otherwise, their hand is pretty uneventful. Like, Lotus, Bayou, Spell Pierce, Mountain, and Grim Lava Mancer don't do anything. They kind of have to time twister here. Am I right? Is this all right? Subs are weird. I went up to a, a good number, and then I just lost two subs in like the past probably 10 minutes. I don't even know. I guess they just expired naturally, but that still feels really strange. Two steps, one, two step, one step forward, two steps back. Is that how it goes? Something like that. Something like that. Also, we still have a chance to draw another Fiery Confluence, too. So, God, I can't believe we could have just... This game would have been over if we literally played the DC Rex arc. But that would have required us to play it into... They're Vidalcan Shackles, so. We also have seven minutes less than they do. This is why I would not begrudge them for making us do the combo, because we have wasted enough time in this matchup um, that losing by time is a win condition for them, and I don't... That's fine. <laughs> I'm strange. Can you feel me? No, Leovold. There's a labeled print right up there. I see it. Did you? Yes. Let's twist again. What did they do? They just played Mountain? Okay. Okay. No blocks. I'm just going to go Mountain and Grim Love Mancer. Yes. Interesting. That's a good one. That is a spicy meatball. <laughs> I mean, you may. Do you wanna? <laughs> I do. Um, so we know they have spell pierce, but nothing else. They literally have nothing else here. Spell pierce is pretty bad on a board with mana flare. I agree with you. All right, let's see how we get. Let's see how we do. Oh, they drew something. I will pay two. This is actually a, kind of hilarious that they did this because of the brain freeze. Oh my god, things just got real, guys. All right. Some type of way. Oh, boy. Let's twist again. Like we twisted. Let's kill their shackles and deal one to each person twice. You want to kill their creatures and they get they get their confluence back. Oh, it's all creatures? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't think like we care else. about this. I think they just wanted to get the, the spell pierce in the graveyard for the lava mancer. 
I'll just deal two to your opponent and then destroy an artifact. Cast. Choose you. Uh, one. To who? Steal it in response. Yeah, do whatever you want. I don't care. Smug face with a five month sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay. Stormer has four, five, six. Storm count will be seven. That's 21 cards. Leaves them with four cards. But they still have Time Twister. And nothing is ever enough. You could do it to force them to do it. Because I kind of want to draw seven cards. But then they know they have Brain Freeze. Like, it just changes our entire game. I just don't think this is going to be a Brain Freeze game. Maybe you're not. I just want to draw seven cards. Also puts our eggs arc on the board, which is kind of nice. The problem is if we, they can just draw shackles again. Yeah, but they have to draw it. Four, five, six, seven. So close. My God. It's twenty-one. They would literally have four cards left, and then they just go time twister. I'm still down for that. I'm just going to pass here, I guess. I don't know. Because actually, maybe they... Maybe they exile their shackles. We have to play a little faster, though, unfortunately. Maybe they exile their shackles to kill the brain maggot. So in other hand, it's still Bayou Lotus, Time Twister, and two other cards. The problem is if we block here, then they can kill our Deceiver Exarch. Yeah, I'll just take two again. Interesting. Now I'm just going to play Exarch here. Let's twist again like we did last year. We'll tap this guy in case they in case we draw Kiki Jiki. <laughs> and you're going to kill our brain maggot. Our B-mags. Oh, but then the shackles is gone. Okay. That's good. That's a, that's a step in the right direction here. Wait, what? Yeah, because Delta 2 plus 3 from the braid. Oh, he didn't kill the Brain Maggot. Okay. I thought they killed the Brain Maggot. I was like, wait. Oh, come on, dude. There's no justice in the world. There's no justice in the world. That's amazing to me. Do we have an attack here? One, two, three. Ah, uh, yeah, we attack. They can't get their Fiery Confluence back yet, so... So now they have Bayou Twister Lotus in hand. I feel like next time they have to go Bayou Twist. They have to go. They have to play the, all three of those things. And then it's very possible we just brain freeze them out. I wonder. You can certainly try. All right, let's see what happens. I guess. Oh boy, we also have seven minutes. They're fifteen. This is a hard deck to play. I have no idea when Magic Arena will release. It's a myth. It is a myth. The problem is there's no way to actually play these in response to a Twister, though. A twister resolves, it shuffles their whole deck, and then they draw. So that's they're not going to run out of cards. 
We could do it in response after. We can't even do a post twister because. Yeah, because our hand will be gone. Yeah. It's a really interesting dynamic. Oh, so Lotus is gone. Didn't play a land. Interesting. That's just one more land you're going to be likely to draw. I guess we play Cabal Ritual here, though. Might as well. Yeah, it's just going to get shuffled back in, so... Let's twist again. Like we did last summer. Oh, frantic search. This actually this is a this is actually a hand. Well he's just dead to our return, right? He's dead to our return if they don't do anything, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they have twelve mana. They can hard cast Ulamog and exile a permanent, but that doesn't kill us. Unless they have through the breach Ulamog, in which case that kills us. I guess we could frantic search and try to hit something. But I have no idea what it kind of... Oh, we could we could actually try to hit Deceiver Exarch, I guess. Frantic search right now. Well, yeah, but I'd wait to... I, we have no reason to do that because we don't know what they're going to do. Right? What do you mean? I mean, like, if he goes to begin combat or whatever? Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Try to look for that answer. Draw two cards, discard a card. That's interesting. I will be playing Rivals next week, most likely. I, I have no, I have no desire to play Rivals uh, for like thirty tickets a league, while it's just in like this pre pre release, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'd much rather play the Vintage Cube because that's rarely around. Oh my god, they have Ulamog. Brain freeze. <laughs> well, this is match one, right? Well, that's hilarious. Oh my... No, this is... Well, this is game two. The first game they threw the breach Ulamog. Does remember? Oh, yeah. No, this might be game three, actually. Because I think we, we, we splintered twin them out. I don't know. I can't remember. This goes on too long. How long can this go on? Oh, here we go. They're just going to hard cast Ulamog. Exile Mana Flare. Here we go. Me no like you. Having a good time. Okay, well, they're not adding a red. I see. I understand now. That's nice. That's a good one. Cast Time Twister, probably. I, I imagine, yes, they are. I imagine they're going to cast Time Twister. In which case, I don't know if it's relevant to... Fr Actually, it might be relevant to Frantic Search, because we, we gain a, a mana. Actually, let's Frantic Search now... Because if we do hit Brain Freeze and then they have to draw, like we could just blow them out. Yeah, the storm count's really high. Um, we did not hit that. Of course not. That would have been a little too good, I think. However, we do have a blocker now for Ulamog, so that's a thing. Ooh, nice. Annihilator for, eh. And we can still draw the Brain Freeze, so. I see. Oh, they have an Emrakul. That would, how nice. We no longer have a blocker for that. No, we don't. We did. <sighs> Must be nice. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do another one. <laughs> sure. I don't even know what you. Dak Faden. Okay. What? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you're doing right now. You just attack with the Emrakul card, bro. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, just scoop. It's a weird decision. Sure. I already figured it out. You got it.
All right. No, well, that was an 0-2. That was unfortunate. Oh, well, on the bright side, they did not have the, the Ulamog. So that's good. That's good. Oh, my my Strukonster is, is still out of date. Oh, God, that's the worst. Just, it's real sad. just the worst. Whatever that is. Nobody knows. The sand seems good. High tide gush. Mana player seems decent. Uh, it's pronounced Dece. You, yeah. You're yeah. I agree. You're yeah. You're yeah. You're yeah. Wantanabe. That is a person. That's a human being on Earth. I mean, let me tell you something, Mike. <laughs> Somebody uh, did touch my spaghetti. Don't go trying. But it's weird because I think they took like Goldilocks thing. Obviously. It definitely feels like a but three bears of thing. They went spaghetti, which is weird. Which is yeah, it's like this just this real racist Italian stereotype from the. 1930s, I guess. Somebody touch your spaghetti. Are you going to say that one? No, I, <laughs> I didn't mean to. I don't know why I did that. I like that you called me out, though. Oh, yeah, you're going to save that? You think that hand is good enough to just save it forever? Okay. Our opponent chose to go first, but... Not fastly, though. Fastly. Yeah, that's a word. Um. Look it up right now. It's not looking good for you, buddy. Yeah, look. It's uh, Edge Cloud Performance. <laughs> oh, my God. Caboose That's Moose. Have I a mean. good night, buddy. Besides card games like Energy and Hearthstone, what other types of games do you enjoy? Um, I enjoy, like, board games and party games and stuff, like uh, Cards Against Humanity or, like, Apples to Apples, whatever, and uh, code names. but I don't get a lot of time to play them, so... Yeah, we try to get friends over, but it doesn't work out ever. It's hard to get enough people to, like, have a good game of, of code names or whatever. Hey, you guys want to you guys wanna play code names? No? Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. Goodbye. That's pretty much how it goes. Goodbye. That's a, that's a goodbye. They might go to five here. That's pretty... Oh, they went to... They kept their hand. They went to six. Helio Pate, have a good night, buddy. Oh, look, we get to both play our Oath of the Gate Watch lands. More like Oath of the Schmate Watch. No, it's no, it's not more like that. Are you sure? I'm positive. I I I will answer you fastly. Is I'm positive. You looking at that spicy Gomer? Yeah, man. And okay. Those those probes. You don't want to get probed into Gomer. No, you don't. That's... That time. <laughs> Nobody wins there, buddy. Next turn we can go high tide. No, we can't. Yeah, if Iron Chef Sammy, I agree. Live closer. Clearly, you're doing it wrong. Get your life together. Don't go changing. Let's add media. Ooh, super aggro. That is super aggro. <laughs> what are you laughing at, man? Oh, you know. Somebody touch my spaghetti. There you go. Hold on. We're gonna do. We're gonna make this look. We're gonna make this look choice. Somebody touch my spaghetti. And then we're gonna go filters. We're gonna add a chroma color to this bad boy. A chroma key, rather. I don't know why I call it chroma. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Why is there no volume on someone touching my spaghetti? Also. Eric the Face, thank you so much for the 14 month sub. It's going to ask me to share this every day, and I guess I just keep on, yeah, just keep on sharing it. Share it every day. Every day we're, we're, we're subbing, you just share it. The only people who live in Florida are old people that are retired. It's true, I am old and retired, so. What's up, turn one, Delver? I was old and reti retired once. What happened? I needed money. Oh, makes sense. I know. That's why I said it. It's 
somebody touching my spaghetti. I'm also out of drink, which is really sad. Oh, that's a scary card. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I mean, we just kill a flame tongue Kavu, but I guess they could go Thalia. Um, it's whatever. We're just gonna draw these anyway. Yeah, I guess we're taking five here and then killing it with a, uh, a little flame tongue Kavi. And then the turn after that, maybe we just kill them with our... What did we get? Oh, your ex-wife is a pilot. What about your current wife? Is she also a pilot? What, you just marry pilots, man? Come on. Can't just marry pilots all the time. I hear most pilots don't get renewed for a first season. <laughs> oh god, my chat is amazing. I, I, wow. That's actually fine because Kavu's not going to cost more, so whatever. Still pretty ridiculous, though. I agree with you. It's not great. What are the odds you draw all those as well? 100%. I guess it is 100% at, at, current, at current time. Put it in the trash can. That guy should have reach. Look at him shooting that bird. Yeah, he's got a machine gun mouth. Do we take another five, and or do we just chump here? I'm gonna jump here because if we draw a time spiral, I'd like to get this guy back. Maybe and kill the Thalia too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So one thing we do is play. We can play high tide and add one, two, three, four. Actually, it would cost two. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. God, Thalia makes everything so miserable, dude. Yeah, that card's pretty real. It's not fun. It's not good. I guess we go Mana Flare and then try to... Are we dead? No, we get... No. I mean, well, they have this too, so we take nine. If they play anything else here, we're probably dead next turn. So I guess don't play anything. All right. Two Mana Mox. One Mana Mox, I guess. That doesn't net you any mana. Here comes Empty the Warrens. <laughs> Well, that will that is lethal. I guess we gotta figure out how to win here. Why don't you play this first, then your mox was free? It's gonna land, alright. So one, two, one, two, three. Actually we can go one, two. And then we have six mana for a time spiral, which doesn't work. Okay. Nice. You and Gush cost one. Gross. Yeah. I think we're dead. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And their mox is just perfect to attack with. Yep. See, oh here, like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana with high tide. However, for time spiral and high tide, we need four, five, six. We have six, seven, eight, nine. So we're one shy. I guess we could play gush for one and see what happens. Uh, I guess so. deal I don't see how tide flare spiral works 
You do know they have a Thalia in play, right? You're not just saying things to sound smart. <laughs> so we go two mana for high tide. One, two, three mana for this, and then... No, that would never work. Yeah, there's no way that works. I think we just bring in Burst Lightning and Firebolt. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty good here. They have Thalion play. None of those plays you're... Not, High Tide does not cost one mana. Flare does not cost three mana. Okay, just checking. There we go, we figured it out. Like, I'd like to think I'm not going to miss plays like that. You would think so. Maybe you do. You'd be wrong. I guess Firebolt's probably better than Burst Lightning. I guess they're both probably good for bringing yeah. things to kill things with. What do we take out there? We got to take one more thing. Probably Treasure Cruise, actually. Yeah, it's pretty slow. We're shuffling our, our our graveyard so frequently. We actually... I don't even like... Actually, we'll take out Probe, too. Bring in, like, Mizium Orders. Sure. Dr. Tonic with the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You are uh, a great patron of the arts, my friend. Preach. Well, I like the fact that you do have three little burn spells that we can bring in. Three little burn spells. No, this hand's hot, 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 hot. This hand's also hot trash. It, it's also hot trash, right. On the bright side, if we draw a swamp, we can Yawgmoth's Will and play Scalding Tarn again, so. That's cool. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Alternatively, we can just draw a Deceiver Exarch and yeah, just win. That's true. So that is also an option. Nope. Go away. The dancing man. You mean Mark Rosewater. Everybody gather around. Check out the dancing man. That's real not okay. Why? Because it's just racist, okay? Is it? Yeah. It's racist. I don't see how. Please explain it to me. No. Do we even kill this guy, or do you want to save this for like a Thalia? We kill this guy. It's got buyback. You know about what you know about buyback. They don't. Here comes Thalia. Every game, guys. And by buyback, you mean flashback. That's a vanguard. Did I say buyback? Mm -hmm. I want my buyback. Buyback. I, I can't. It's like a brainstorm. Brainstorm? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because we got the tarn. That's racist is the new cool G rap. Oh, really? That's nice. <laughs> oh my god. I will do another one after this, yes. We'll do uh the land stipulation. Oh, they didn't have anything. Neither do we. <laughs> Maybe you should play the tarn. Jeez. I'm gonna keep it for the B star, man. Keep the dream alive. I mean, if we draw Deceiver Exarch or even Zealous Conscripts now, we're in good shape. Iron Shift Sammy, what does it matter if I'm doing another one after this? If you're sleepy, like... Probably not going to make it. Yeah, you're not going to make it through a second one, let alone this one. I see. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that'll go on YouTube. Oh, uh, it's probably not going on YouTube tomorrow. No, there's a few that are back. To, like, the ones that I'm recording today are probably going on, like, next week sometime. You can also just watch the VODs. That's true, but it's harder to get through those because I just cut these from the beginning to the end and put them on YouTube, whereas the VODs is, like, the whole stream. You have to do skipping and whatnot. Guess we're taking six. Crunch. That was a good... Oh, we're, at, we're on bright side, though. We're at 11. So that we can take a hit from both of these guys next turn if we draw nothing. That's better than nothing. It still doesn't... It's actually... Yeah, it actually blocks and we get our guy. So, okay. It okay. reveal our plan, but whatever. What are they going to do? Path to Exile? Probably. If only, again, we had one more mana. Yeah, I wish we had like a Mox. That'd be pretty cool. Moxes are pretty cool. You know what they say. I don't. Moxes are pretty cool. Who says that? Dad. 
Your dad? My dad. Oh, wow. Your dad. Oh, goody. He needs to pay life. No, it's got oh. double strike. That's not, how oh. that's not how double strike works. Just don't play a guy. That's all. Here we go. Hero blade hold. Nope. Gideon. Gideon Jura. Gideon Jura enforce my Deceiver Exarch to attack your... <sighs> sure. You just have so... Well, you could tap it right. That's fine, actually. Some kind of wit. <laughs> Did you like? still dead, right? No, bro. It's every day, bro. With flash, that Disney flash, Channel. Fireball, fl that's doesn't do anything because he just taxes us for three. Well, no, that would keep us alive. I mean... We could also tap this guy, but then we take four and then they shoot us, right? right. So that doesn't work. Yeah, we can't do that. That's why I like a flashback blade better. If they draw red, would they just kill us? <laughs> True. So I guess we hope they don't do that. I mean, that's better than dying, right? Is it? Yes. <laughs> Every game, I feel like we're so close and yet so far. I feel like we were so close against the stupid sneak attack slash through the breach deck. I feel like we were so close against this deck, but... Still, the games are, like, super fun and interactive. Like, there's lots of things you can do. There's lots of ways you can be like, oh, I messed up here. As opposed to, like, a new format draft, like Ixalan. Uh, I can't speak for Rivals of Ixalan, but Ixalan specifically was like, okay, you played a 6-6 guy. I don't have an answer for that, so I guess you win. Whereas this is like, well, I can either play, I can play Yawgmoth's Will, and I can flash it back that way, or I can play Deceiver Exarch and tap down your guy and block, or I can play this and crack it, and, you know, it, there's like, a, you have a lot of options here, which is nice. I think we're dead. Show is. Yep. All right. Unfortunate we went one two, but uh, deck. I, I feel like the deck was trying to do a little too many things. It was pulled in a little too many directions at once. And uh, eh, either way, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Both of those help me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.